Hello, hello, don't worry, it's not some weird woodland walk video. We'll say weird, that might be really relaxing for some, so I'll take that back. No, I'm out and about. Said I was gonna do it outside my garage gym. So we're having a bit of a walk today to see what kind of crazy exercises you can get up to in the woods. No, it's probably not what you're thinking and it's not one of those videos. But I thought, actually, do you know something? I need to get out and about. Mental Hair Awareness Week, Mental Health Awareness Week, in May, middle of May. Everything's about activity and movement. I spend a lot of time with my work either out and about on sites or either working from home or in sites and a lot of time in front of a computer. So sod that, take half hour, 40 minutes, get out, get some steps in, which is all good. I'm on a cut, so I need to drop some fatty body weight. I thought, what better time to do that than getting out and about. So you guys can join me on a bit of a woodland walk, but more importantly, let's see what crazy exercises we can get up to while we're on a walk. Let's go. Right, so I have to admit, I thought I was gonna get absolutely caked coming into the woods today, but thank God we had some decent weather halfway through the week. So even though, as you can see, it is horrendously muddy, great thing is, it's all pretty compact and pretty dry, except for it looks like some freaking hell. Bloody hell. It's a tree and a half falling down, isn't it? Actually, that looks a bit dicey. Uh, looking around for other ways to get out. I think I'm gonna go across there, around that tree and down that way. Right, this is where I fall arse over. You know what, on video. Nope, nope. Jesus, <laughs> flipping heck. There's me saying that it's a lot more hard, a lot better. That's probably because I was out in the open. Now you've come under tree cover. It's fricking, yeah, not ideal, but beautiful, nice, very nice. But don't worry, this isn't just gonna be a walk through the woods. Look at some beautiful flowers and trees. Even though, how nice is it? Bloody hell. Honestly, if you don't get out and about, get out and about more, honestly. I always say this, and I've got these right on my doorstep. And bloody hell, getting some fresh air, a bit of time on your own to chill out, even though you guys are with me, makes a hell of a lot of difference. Look at some of that. That is some quality shrubberage. <laughs> That's about as far as a flick can go. But look at this coming up here. I promise there will be some fitness stuff in a minute. Look at that. Hey. Even your gym rack can appreciate some of that. Right, I wanna find some type of tree, not that big bugger, but I wanna find a tree with some branches. I'm thinking pull-ups, I'm thinking chin-ups. I'm thinking, yeah, let's find one of those and then we'll do some chin-ups and pull-ups to begin with. But I'm not going through that. I'm gonna see if I can tackle through that. Let's go. Bloody hell. Okay. Jesus Christ, where am I going here? All right, let's go through it. Do, 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 do. Let's see if it gets any better when I come out here. No, it doesn't. Look at all of that. So we're gonna go along the edges. Right, if I can get to there, I can use that stick to jump on and go across to there. Okay, actually, wait a minute. I'm gonna use that stick to step on. Do, 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 do. Go across here. Happy days, right, cool. So, what are we doing? God, Jesus Christ, I thought there were gonna be loads of trees. I thought it'd be on my third set of pull-ups by now, but no, I'm also trying to balance, I'm making sure I don't drop this phone and tripod in some crap. Jeez, I thought I could smell crap. Look at this. It's half decent though, isn't it? Look at that. Nice little some lake there. Hey, Jesus, look at that. This video has gone from what was gonna be a bit of an outdoor body weight workout to a bit of a titivating shrubbery and greenery session. Put three sets of this on your map. Right, let's find a tree. I wanna do some bloody chin-ups and pull-ups. Oh, look at that bad boy. 
Could I get up there? Probably not. Is that out of the possibility? What I'm thinking is that one there, but it means climbing up that tree there and all I've got is that. That's not gonna happen, is it? Wait a minute. This could be the first crazy session. Actually, saying that, that could take my weight and then I could jump onto... Now, nah, Barry, what are you doing? Do you wanna die before the fucking first set's done? It's gotta be something around this tree. I'm gonna find a branch, let's get set up and let's get some freaking pull-ups in, let's go. First woodland freaking set. And I'm gonna see if I can balance, not balance, but grab onto this branch, which is a little bit freaking, I don't know what you say, is elasticy the right word? I don't know. Let's grab onto that and see if we can pull out 10 repetitions before that potentially breaks. Let's bloody well hope not. Let's go. Boom! I met people after about 20 minutes. It's my first woodland set. That went all right, didn't it? Happy freaking days. I was going to attempt this one. Thank God I didn't. I'll be on my ass in that lovely inviting stream. First set of pull-ups done. Next one, chin-ups. Let's go. So this could go wrong, but I'm going to attempt to do that same thing on this branch here, but chin-ups this time. So bring in a little bit of bicep. Still working some decent lats, but bringing in a bit more bicep as opposed to that usual, or what I just did as a standard pull up. So chin ups, let's go. Ooh. That's got a freaking bicep pump on it, I'm telling you. That was decent. Who needs a freaking garage gym? Who needs an indoor gym when you can come out and freaking smash out a bit of back? We're going to move on to a bit of chest in a minute as well. In a nice, fresh, freaking lovely British countryside. Madness. Right, I thought you'd want to be here for me to do this. So I kind of want to get across this stream, stream, sorry, and across into there, I think. So we're going to attempt to jump across here. Now, I want you with me because if I fall in, I could potentially go viral and I could potentially explicitly get through the next two or three minutes. Jesus Christ. That's literally <laughs> what I'm playing with. And that's what I need to jump across to get to that bank over there. Right, you're gonna jump across with me. If suddenly you see that and you splat in mud, you know it went, as they say, Pete Tong. But I'm gonna to have to go here, because I'm gonna use some of these here. Let's see if I can get across. Jesus Christ. You know when it's just a freaking bad situation. Right, let's get across. One, two, three. Oh, oh yes. Not only can he chin up, freaking pull up like an absolute demon, he's also got a pretty good fucking long jump in him as well. Right, let's get past get stingy nettles, because no one likes stingy nettles, let's be honest. Do not want to get freaking stung to buggery. Then we're out here. I mean, look at that. That is cool, isn't it? That is freaking awesome. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so as I was saying earlier, like mental health, mental health 
Awareness Week, 13th to 19th, all around movement this year, which is really good. So within my line of work, been in leisure, we're jumping straight into that. So our May campaign is all around movement, all around being more active, etc., etc., as well. So looking forward to that. Marketing briefs and everything just gone out to the sites, which is all good. Yeah, and we're gonna get all over that. Part of our mission statement: help our communities be more active, manage their weight, and hopefully live a little bit longer than last time. Right, let's get through here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, being an absolute pansy, I thought grabbing onto freaking tree trunks all day was gonna add to the calluses. So I brought along these hand grips. So my pro grip hand grips, gear for war, my brand. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna need them to be honest with you. There's one I don't think I'm that much of a pansy. And two, it's all right, isn't it? Calluses are calluses, look at that. Hands are battered anyway. Right, I've got to decide where the hell I am and where, where I want to get to. I can pretty much, there's some type of like freaking waterfall and stuff around near here. I think it's over through that path over there. So let's go for a walk down there, shall we? Pretty sure you go through it here. I can kind of hear it, or actually, to be honest with you, that might not be the water I can hear. It might just be those trees blowing in the wind, and I might be going the wrong freaking way completely. Oh, sod it, let's just go. Damn, this may well have been the wrong place to go through. I'm kind of doing the whole split and run thing, but I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm not a freaking Olympic gymnast. Well, actually, no, I can't. Right, we're gonna have to step one, step two, get over that horrendous puddle and get through here. Right, let's continue. Oh, there's some decent trees in here. I feel some more pull-ups. I also feel like I need to do some press-ups as well. Be a bit, a bit of fun to do it halfway up a tree, wouldn't it? <laughs> See what we can do. So I just saw this cool log just here. It's probably just heavy enough to crack out a set of 10 military shoulder press. So, Let's get on it. Too light. Uh, overestimated the weight of that log, underestimated the freaking delts. But have a look at that big, yeah. I could potentially try to lift that. That'd be hilarious. It looks like it weighs an absolute ton. Freaking hell, let's do it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's have some fun. Watch me struggle. Right, let's get the full size of that log into this photo. Let's see if I can get underneath it. Let's see if I can budge it at all. Be a bit funny, won't it? Let's go. Here we go. Tell you one thing, that was good for a deadlift, but <laughs> bugger trying to get that onto my shoulder. Flipping heck. And I think it actually might still be attached to the ground there as well. <laughs> Celebrity, right, let's walk on. Okay, so I've just come across this log here. 
Yeah, that looks quality. It looks prime for some, doing some press-ups. So I'm gonna do some wide press-ups, or let's go with some standard press-ups, then we'll take it inside to Diamond Curl to work on those triceps. Let's do this. work. Fucking chest feels pumped. Triceps literally primed, ready to take down a freaking wildebeest at a single freaking call. Let's keep walking. Okay, so we've now hit a little boardwalk, eh? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Posh around here, innit? So I'm actually going to make my way to where that kind of little waterfall or whatever else. It's literally like a, I don't know, a lake or a large pond, whatever you want to call it. I'm not fucking a geologist. No, that's someone who looks after rocks and stones, Barry. I don't know. I don't know my ponds and lakes and whatever else, but feel free to comment if you do. But I'm gonna make my way there anyway, because one, it's pretty cool. And two, I'll take you back to where I got a video banned in COVID on TikTok because literally I was doing pull-ups on the side of a bridge into a small stream and enough people said it was dangerous to get the video taken down. Controversial. Actually it was the midst of summer, I think 19 or 20, and there was no freaking water in the stream. Anything I was gonna hurt was my ego if it didn't work. But Celavi, we trundle on. Next time you see me, we'll be at that said waterfall area. Although you'll see it's not a waterfall, but I don't know how to describe it. But you'll see what I mean and then comment below. See you later, see you in a bit. Yeah, well, there we go. Let's heed that warning. Okay, so this is what I meant by the waterfall. Now, I know it isn't a waterfall. I get that, I get that, I get that. But technically, it is water and it is falling so call it what you may but for me i still got counted as a waterfall no okay right let's see if we can get down to the bottom and we'll start, try some cheeky exercises shall we i'm going to try some death defying now we probably won't be walking across that to be honest with you i'll come back incredibly wet but we are going to try a few squats and a few press-ups on that there log overhanging my waterfall which, as we've probably gathered and as you've already said in the comments, isn't a waterfall. Let's get on with this.
Right, and just to show you people that I wasn't lying about the log, look at that. See, if my squat had gone Pete Tong, and if I'd leaned back just slightly more, I'd have been in that. Damn. All right. So it started to get actually quite hot. Hence, zip comes down on the jacket. Hoodie as always on. Right, which way are we gonna go? God, it stinks of sh <clears throat> around here. Does not smell very nice around here. Whoa, I'm slipping everywhere. So, let's carry on down here. And at the end of this walk here, which will come, should come out of the field. Yeah, there we go. Right, right at the end of that path there. And around to the left, I think, is that bridge. The pull-up bridge. My COVID pull-up bridge. The only time I've ever got a video taken down because it was just too dangerous. Because I'm too dangerous for TikTok. Right. Let's go. Okay, that's not my bike, because as you know, I just do not do cardio. Obviously someone does. Where that someone is, we don't know. Hmm. I was quite tempted for a bit of a laugh to take the bike and ride around the field like a freaking clown at a circus. An adult on a child's bike, just in case he is in the woods somewhere. Just in case he is. Bigger than me, well, let's be honest. Most 15 year olds are probably taller than me. Then we'll leave his bike alone. Never know. Youth these days, they're scary, aren't they? All right, let's crack onto that bridge. Although I can hear what sounds like a freaking fox hunting or a shitload of dogs in front of me. Let's see how we get on. Oh, I'll bleep that out later. Not the hunt. I said hunt. Right, everyone. So this is my TikTok bridge. So literally what I did was I lowered myself down on here and was doing pull-ups up against it. At the time, there's pretty much no water in it. There is now, so I'd be crazy to do it now. But how's that dangerous, man? They didn't ask me, did you have armbands in your pocket, Barry? Is there someone with you that can swim even if you can't? Just those questions were not asked by TikTok before they took down my video and called it dangerous and scathed my reputation for ages. I was at five million subscribers until that then everyone deserted me back down to 35,000. Jesus, TikTok ruined, ruined, ruined. Oh, am I tempted, am I not? You'll have to wait. Hang on to your hats, people. Damn, that was much harder. <laughs> one, because I couldn't go right down to the bottom one, because my feet would have been in the water. Still some decent lat activation on that one, people. Let's go. Okay, so on the way back from that bridge now, Callus is well and truly buggered. Yep. Look, as homeless as ever, and that beautiful blue sky has turned to grey and it's starting to rain. Damn it. Luckily the woods will give me shelter. Sound like I'm freaking stranded somewhere, don't I? 
shipwrecked. All right, I'll see you when I'm almost back. Let's go. Cool. Okay, so getting back, just walking past that waterfall where I was doing the squats and press ups earlier on that log, and walk past that on the way home. This is a decent, decent thousands of thousands of steps, which is really going to help me reduce that body weight. So already doing well. So well, almost a week ago today, I was 90.2 kilos. So just over 200 pounds. I now sit at, when I weighed myself this morning, oh Christ, I knew it, then started the video and then forgot it. I'm at about 77 and a half. So ridiculously, I've lost about two kilos. Well, yeah, about two and a half kilos in just over a week or a week exactly, which is faster than I wanted to. But to be honest with you, I've gone from about three, just over three, three 250 calories. Do I want to go that way? I'm going to fall ass over tit when I'm on video. Yeah, down to 2,000. So I've gone pretty drastic. Usually what I would say to clients or what I would recommend to you is it's a gradual. So if you're at three, go down to 2,750 to 2,500, then potentially two, three, then two, depending on where you need to be, where your maintenance and everything starts. But yeah, I went quite drastic, dropped it by a thousand. And the first couple of days, bloody hell. There we go, there's my waterfall, everyone. Yeah, first couple of days I was going way over because my head was still primed to eating a lot. See, I was literally still doing about two eight, even on the first couple of days of cut. But got my fitness pound in check. Use that to really good effect. That really has helped me. So if you don't use it, use it. My fitness pal, I've been using it for decades. It's just decent. It's free, unless you want to upgrade, which then allows you to see a lot more, like bloody exercise plans, diet plans, that type of thing. But to be honest with you, as many say, and I agree with, calories in, calories out. So I set my target to 2,000. And that's what I'm gonna get. So today, currently, what did I start off? This morning, I just started off with a mass gainer. So higher carbs, around 25, 26 grams of protein. Yeah, it's about 60, 70 grams of carbs. So carb heavy, but I needed the energy for a training session later and this walk. But yeah, for lunch, I'll go back now and have, I don't know, maybe two homemade pit of breads with tin of tuna and maybe chuck some other stuff around it as well. Two fried eggs on top or something like that. Might even have tuna on toast with two eggs slapped right on the top of it. Some bad boy protein, some half decent carbs. Yeah, I've talked myself into it. Right, let's walk home. Okay, so I'm just on the walk home now and there's quite a few people out walking dogs now. I've got cats, don't have dogs, so I can't really, I don't know, what's the word? Appreciate it, I don't know what word. You'll know what I mean in a minute, but why is it right? That it's probably more women than men, I would say, but only from looks like there's more women walking their dogs than men at the moment. But what is it about when they call out their dogs, they have to sound like the wicked witch of the north? Come here, Freddy, Freddy, come here. They literally put on some cackle instead of just using their normal voice. Instead of saying, Crackle, come here, crackle, crackle, come here, crackle, come here. Like putting on some kind of witch's accents gonna scare your dog into turning around going shit she's mad she's just put on the freaking wicked witch of the north accent i've got to freaking get back in check right now man alive what are we like okay now i'm gonna get a hell of a lot of looks because there's quite a few people in this park but you can't walk past the football goal when you're doing an out and about little bit of fitness without trying to do some pull-ups and chin-ups on a football bar let's be honest Right, let's get it on. Let's see if we get anyone chatting. What are you doing?
tell you one thing people, that has got to be football crossbar pull-up challenge smashed. Do you know something? The size of that crossbar was bang on perfect just to go around with a suicide grip. I could have stayed up there, did 10 there, could have easily have stayed up there for another 10 and probably chucked in some cheeky muscle ups as well. But you know me, not one to brag. I've done some cheeky back, I've done some chest, I've done a bit of bite with those chin ups, but I have neglected my tries. So on the way back, came across this park and now I'm gonna do some triceps off that cheeky little bar. That's what I was doing those things to myself. You've done yourself there, Barry. When you were doing press-ups on the log earlier, you did some diamond press-ups as well, so you have done triceps. Fucking hell. Dementia with old people. Not good, is it? Right, let's get home. I'll see you at the front door, catch you in a bit. Okay, people, I am now back. And look at that. Literally about two minutes before I got back, stepped through the door, and it's raining outside. So that's the usual garage gym. So that's usually where you see me in my garden. There we go. And that's my kind of home office and hideaway, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, which is all good. But yeah, that's the garage gym. But from me, it's a goodbye. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see this type of footage again, footage, vlogging again, let me know. I might be able to do actually what a tour of a supermarket, just exercise off blinking different shelves and whatever else but give me a shout I hope you enjoyed like subscribe and please comment love the comments see you all soon take care